So in this video, I'm gonna use these beakers of water to explain relative humidity. Okay, so relative humidity is the amount of moisture in the air versus how much it can actually hold. And I'm gonna use these three beakers here to demonstrate relative humidity in a visual sense. So let's say you had a volume of air at 55 degrees represented by this container right here. We'll call this container number one. Now, if you heated this up to 75 degrees, you would expect that the, the container or air volume got larger. And if you heated it up again to 95 degrees, you would imagine it got even larger. So if you were to take these three containers and visually represent 50% RH, what do you think that would look like? Okay, so here's what it would look like. Now I'm trying this for the first time, so we're gonna see if I mess this up or not. I feel like my high school science teacher. Okay, so we're gonna pour this water into this container, and that's about halfway full, so that would be 50% RH in this 55 degree container. I'm gonna do the same in the 75 degree container. Might be a little high, but we're gonna, we're gonna go with that. This is not a scientific, uh, not to scale as they say. So in the 75 degree container, if it was 50% RH, it would look something like that. And in the 95 degree container, let's see, I'm gonna say a little bit higher. Let's see how I did. That's pretty close, okay. All right, so now in these three scenarios, these represent three different air conditions, all of them at 50% relative humidity. So what do you notice? What's the big thing you notice about these conditions? Let's take 95 versus 55. Well, they're both technically 50% RH, but look at how much moisture is in the 95 degree bucket. A lot more moisture. So therein lies the issue when you're using relative humidity to determine how humid it is outside. Now, if you were 95 and 50%, you know, down in Florida, and you were 55 degrees and 50% up here in the mountains, it would be much less humid here, but they both have the same relative humidity. So what would 100% RH look like? Well, it would look like something like that. Without spilling this on my computer and getting everything wet, it would look something like that. So that would be 100% humidity and 0% RH minus a few droplets in there would look something like that. Okay, so now sometimes you might be in a very hot climate. Let's say this condition here, 95, 50% RH, and let's say you're at 75 degrees and 70% RH. I'm gonna simulate that by just, you know, pouring a little bit more water in here. Maybe that's 75% RH or something like that, okay? 95, 50%, 75, 75%. Well, look, at 50% RH, there's still much more volume of water here than there is at 75, okay? So therein, again, lies the issue with using relative humidity. The RH is higher here, but there's actually more humidity in the air at this condition.